Are you in search for the perfect graduate position for after you graduate? Maybe you're in your third year or maybe you've already graduated and you've been sending off applications left, right and centre and being hit with rejection after rejection after rejection. Well in this video we're going to talk about the perfect strategy of how to approach applying for graduate positions so that you can make sure you land that dream role. My name is Mohamed Tahir and I'm an aerospace engineering graduate who now works as an engineering graduate at Heathrow Airport literally my dream job and I absolutely love it and I'm here to try and help you land your dream role. Welcome to my YouTube channel and let's dive right into it. When you're applying for a role, there are three main things that you need to be considering. Imagine if you had a puzzle and this puzzle was made out of three separate pieces. The first piece of this puzzle is you. The second piece of this puzzle is the job role and the third piece of this puzzle is the company. Now the aim of the game when applying for a graduate position is to align you with the job role with the company. The magic word is alignment. You need to show how you align with this organization's vision, their values, but we'll dive more into that later in the video. So make sure you stick around. But for now, let's concentrate on you. When a company is hiring somebody for a graduate program, they are looking for the future managers and leaders of their organization. So they want talented people who understand their strengths, who are self-conscious to the point where they can actually walk in with confidence and display their strengths. They need people who understand their own value. So don't just apply to a role if you haven't actually spent the time doing a bit of soul searching and understanding what makes you different. Now I'm going to give you three questions that you should, you could ask yourself and you should ask yourself before you even start looking for jobs that will really help you on that journey. The first question is what am I truly good at? This may be things that your friends have told you that you're really good at, that you might not even do consciously, you kind of just do it naturally. You may be born talented at this specific thing. Ask yourself, what am I truly good at? The reason why you ask yourself this is because if you're naturally talented at something, then you're already at an advantage. You might as well leverage that advantage. The second thing is what do I enjoy? What is it that I truly enjoy that I, that I actually like doing? Um, and it, you know, it doesn't feel like a chore when I'm doing it. What am I good at? What do I enjoy? And the last one is what do I want to learn more about? This is where your curiosity comes in. This is where you can start pointing your career in a place that you're continuously going to be curious with and you're continuously going to want to learn more about. Imagine having a job where you come in each Monday morning and you actually want to learn more and you enjoy it and you're good at it. That's like a triangle where everything fits together and it's perfect. That is the sort of self-awareness that would literally allow you to smash interviews, to smash application processes, because you really understand what's in your heart and why you're applying for this role, because you have that level of self-awareness. So it always starts off with understanding yourself. Be a little bit self-conscious, not self-conscious, self-aware about yourself, about like what makes you different. What is it about you that makes you special? When you understand that, then companies will actually be able to resonate with that and see that. That's the first thing. The second thing is the actual job role. Now, any job that you're going to be applying for is going to come with a job description. And that job description will go into extreme detail about what this job is about, what you'll be doing day in, day out. And last but not least, what sort of people they're looking for, for this job. This is like a gold mine of information to allow yourself to align with this role. If you want to align yourself with the role, they've literally told you what they're looking for. If you understand who you are and they've told you what they're looking for, well, you can just align yourself with that role. It is that simple. Go through it with like a, a, a fine comb, fine comb? I think that's a word. Fine comb, like go through it, highlight specific words that stand out to you throughout that job description. What sort of people are they looking for? What is the nature of the graduate program? Is it a rotational graduate program? Actually understand exactly what it is that you are applying for. Why? Because then you'll be able to create a much more informed application that 
really shows how you how you understand what you're applying for you haven't just copy pasted a cv and sent it across no but you've actually included nuggets of information from this job description embedded into your cv and embedded into your your cover letter and maybe any questions that they may ask you you really show them that i've understood what sort of job i'm applying for and i've understood what you're looking for and here you go I'm going to be presenting myself as the sort of person that you're actually looking for. This is crucial. Why? Because once again, it's about alignment. They want to find somebody who is going to match this job like a glove and be able to flourish in that role. So you have you, you have the job, and last but not least, you have the chunky thing called the actual company itself. Now, yes, you're just applying for the role, but this role is going to be sitting and being embedded within an organization. This organization has its own mission statement, it has its own values, it has its own thing that they find to be the top priority for them. They have 10, 15, 20 year plans for this company already set out. They know where they want to be. And if they're hiring the future managers of this organization in the form of a graduate program, well, if this future talent actually understands where this company wants to be, where this company, what their priorities are, what their values are, what drives them, what brings them into work. If you understand that about the company, then once again, you can start presenting yourself as somebody who understands that and as somebody who resonates with the message that they are also passionate about. Go on their website, go on their career site, Type the name of the company, press enter, and then add values on the end and press enter again. See what comes up. The internet is full of information about these companies where they describe to you in detail what their values are, what their mission statements are, where they see themselves in the next 10, 20, 30 years. Read articles about this specific company and understand where they want to be and present yourself as the person who can allow them to be where they want to be. Show them, show yourself as somebody who, if they hire you, you're going to get them towards their goals. You're going to allow them to actually pursue the dreams of the company. They'd be like, they'd be ridiculous not to hire you if you've literally told them, well, this is what you want to achieve. And this is how I personally can help you get there. Showing, your, showing yourself and presenting yourself as somebody who aligns with not only the job description, but the values and the core mission statement of the company creates that, that sort of robust application where when a hiring manager is going to be sat there reading through all these thousands of mundane applications, when they stumble upon your one, it's going to be like, wow. This person's clearly researched the role. This person clearly understands what this organization about, and they have they are self-conscious about their strengths and what makes them different to the point where they are actually able to articulate that in an application straight onto the next phase. It's that simple. It's that simple. Majority of people copy paste CVs and send them to, to companies willy nilly. If you spend time to not copy paste the CV, actually spend time tailoring the application to match the job description and match the company values, then you will go straight on to the next stage. And then once you're at the next stage, you keep that same focus, that same mindset of the values, the job description and you, and then you're able to actually show them it maybe face to face or in, a, in an online, uh, online interview or a telephone interview, however they wish to proceed. Keeping in mind you, the job description and the company and their values. That is how you win at landing yourself graduate position. That's what worked for me. That's how I was able to get my graduate role at Heathrow Airport. And I know so many people who've used this same technique to land their dream roles straight after graduation. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you're able to take some of the tips and tricks um, and apply them for your application process. If you have any questions about an application process, if you wanna talk about it one-to-one, -one, if you wanna book a strategy call with me uh, where we sit down one-to-one -one and go through your specific problems and we'll talk about it, then hit me up on Instagram. Uh, I'm gonna sort of leave a, a little at right here of my Instagram handle. Follow me on there, check me out, send me a message. I'm more than happy to help anybody who reaches out. That's, that's me. If you want to learn more about my role as an engineering graduate at Heathrow Airport, check this video out and I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.